Welcome back to We Happy Few. It is time to infiltrate Bing's safe house. I like the title they gave the quest, Unsafe House. It's a really pretty looking uh, mural, I guess that would be called. Coming soon, indoor shops. Everything you need without getting wet. Sounds like a mall? That's the old pumping station where I threw him the masquerade ball. Why don't I just sneak in and abscond with the key? And that's some attention to detail in the environment. A big old pile of shit <laughs> in the toilet. <sighs> I miss my calling. I should have been a secret agent. He'll have the boat key in his office. I'm sure of it. Just another reminder how damn good this game looks. I mean, look at this. I love the blue and the red coming together and kind of mixing a bit and reflecting off of different parts of that pipe. Some blue, some red. It just looks so great in those dust particles in the air and everything. And I do believe that's a bucket of rats. That's a bucket of rats. What the hell? Baby cries? Am I seriously still hearing my baby from here? God damn, Gwen. Ooh. Oh, cool. We have more of those. I mean, Sally, you're basically a secret agent right now. Christ almighty. He's set for the apocalypse, isn't he? So, these lasers just hurt quite a bit, but they're not instant death or anything like that. Damn, that's not very safe. Isn't the point of this you like punch the glass and then get the fire extinguisher? But the glass doesn't even break. <laughs> it also has some sort of a key thing, but... Let's go this way. Be careful, rat. Oop! Ow. Whew. It's a statue of me. Get up there and go into that air duct. I think that's where I've got to go. <sighs> oh, oh, Jesus. Let's try that again. Some advantages to being smaller than everyone else. Memoir of Sir Robert Ping. That I kind of want to read, even though I've been avoiding other notes. It's just one chapter. Duty will never make one popular. It is its own reward. I first learned this lesson in grammar school when I reported some older boys smoking in the lavatory. <laughs> the taunts of Tattletale that followed this incident did not in any way dissuade me. 
nor did the monstrous rumor that I had only reported these boys because I owed them pocket money. Even at a young age, I had a keen sense of right and wrong. When these boys later, later threatened to do me bodily harm, it was my obligation to inform the headmaster and, and ensure they were expelled. Naturally, this did not make me popular, but I endured the jeers as one does when one has a higher sense of moral purpose than one's peers. Well, I think that's enough of the memoirs. If there's any more, I'm not going to read them. Yep, that's General Bing, in a nutshell. Fuck in a bucket. Shit. No. Uh, no. Drink dart. Uh. When I told you to come to my safe house, I meant knock on the door, not come down the chimney. Did you forget something? Gwen's safe. Oh, yes, I'm sure you're taking smashing good care of her. What if one of Dr. Verloc's boys comes knocking while you're out? We'll move house. And when they catch you out on the street? What happens to her then? Come, look. It looks empty from the outside. No sense painting a target on the place. Food for a year. Vitamins, first aid. How lovely for you. You'll stay here after I get Gwen across the bridge. It's the only place I can keep you safe. I wanted it to feel like home. I think I'll keep looking. You can't go. The doctors are scouring the streets. This is a cage. Not once you tell me where she is. I'm not going to do that. I think you will. Baby's going to get hungry if you're not there to feed her. You bastard! You are horrible, vicious coward! Sally, Traitor. do you love her or do you just love having someone who needs you? Let us stay with us. Here. Please. This is no place for a child. She's just a small thing. I'll make you happy. I promise. You'll come first. I can make you so happy. You're just like when we first met. I think I've just pissed him off. I've got to get out of here. Bing took all your stuff. Where is it? I wish I could go back in there and kill them. I guess I gotta find my stuff first, but I don't think they're gonna let me kill him anyway. Sally! Oh, Sally! You won't be leaving this facility without me. I have the only key card. I've got to take him down somehow. Ah! Direct fight doesn't seem like a good idea. This thing works now. Oh, these are empty. Can you follow me up here? Surely you can't. Oh, Jesus. All right, now we're good. Oh, I don't have my stuff, right? I don't need my healing items. Um... I could try to continue to fight them. Oh, I could recharge them over here. Are they stuck there? Cool, works for me. I 
I don't know. How does that actually help? Oh, I can go into this door. This is a really nice lab. Maybe I can use his own magic against him somehow. Okay, maybe I get something in here that interacts with the uh, fountain. First aid kit. Good. I can make morpheline. If I throw it in that fountain, it'll steam off morphine gas. Ah. And down he goes. Still trying to come up with some clever chemistry, aren't Oops. you? That feels odd. I like you, Sandy. Why do you have to be so damn difficult? Who else is going to give you what I can? Okay, that's probably all I need. Oh no, it's not. I need methylox. Methoxfluorine. Methoxfluorine. Ah, here the here's the methoxfluorine. Probably need a better chemistry set to make this. Do I though? Do I actually? No, just like everything else, I don't. Is there literally anything in the game that requires a better chemistry set? I've heard theoretically you need them for some things, but I've literally found nothing that ever needs them in the entire playthrough as Arthur or Sally so far. If I just mix this water with the morpheline, I'll have a nice cloud of sleeping gas that I better not inhale myself. Do I have to, like, throw it, or...? Ah. stuff in his office. i better get it back. Are they dead or not? I can't tell. They don't even highlight like a normal body. I want to kill them so bad. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's all my stuff. Equip my actual weapon. Oh, wait. They they repaired my eager cleaver. It was close to breaking. So Bing just like sharpened it up and took care of it while we were sleeping. Thanks. Cool. Of course, their body's gone. Yep. I figured that would happen because I was gonna try to hack on them with his meat cleaver. I've done terrible things, Sally. I had to do them, but the mob despised me for it. I think I deserve a little consolation in my old age. I'm not your consolation prize. They don't have any way out. They have plenty of food and stuff to live there for a long time, but... They're stuck in there. How long was I in there? I've got to get back to Gwen.
lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. The neighbors think you've got a downer in your house. <laughs> Not me. If I were any happier, I couldn't walk in these heels. <laughs> That's a joke. They heard someone crying. Love to chat, but I'm expecting Sir Robert any moment. Then you shouldn't have provoked Dr. V like that. After he tried so hard to put you out of his mind. Look, you tell Anton that the general is going to be really fucking pissed off. I don't think he much cares anymore what mood Sir Robert is in. Personally, I'd like to see your customer list. Odd. Something I've not smelled since... That's a baby! Yes. Isn't she adorable? Buckety fucking a buckety bucket. Okay, think, Sally. If he doesn't come back, they'll send more doctors. We can't stay here anymore, can we? I've got to move you someplace safe. Yeah, we're almost ready to go, aren't we? <laughs> you and Gwen can finally escape to the mainland. Are you ready? Once you pick her up, you're done with any other adventures in Wellington Wells. And until you get her to the boathouse, you won't be able to fight or even throw things. Ooh. That could be a problem. Not being able to fight or throw things. It's gonna be dark in here, darling. But when you come out, you'll be as safe as you can be. be as quiet as a mouse, aren't you? Because you don't want Mummy and you to be torn to tiny little pieces. Just go to sleep for a little while. Alright? Now all we have to do is travel safely across the entire city and not upset any doctors or any townsfolk carrying torches or pitchforks or plague victims. Oh, the stories you'll have when you grow up. Can I sprint? I can sprint. Can I take flash? I can't take flash. You can only use items from the menu. Can I take it from the menu? Oh, I can actually. This bag is so cool looking. Okay. So we cannot fast travel, of course, right? Wait. Can we? Wait, we can? All off. Oh. Alright. I really didn't think it would let me do that. I'm glad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, here we go. Out of here, shall we, Gwen? Shh. 
It's almost over. Let's just lower this into the water. That engine looks so cool. I hope I get to actually drive this thing. But I doubt it. anymore, will they? Make as much noise as you like. Maybe I'm not such a rubbish mum after all. You'll never know how alone someone can be. You have me. I'll have you. I guess I'm happy, would you? We're gonna have such adventures. We'll be the two musketeers. Let's finish off with some thoughts on the Sally storyline for We Happy Few. I think it'll be pretty short because I already pretty much went over the whole game in general when I finished the Arthur playthrough. I love that I actually got to play as Sally. I always thought they were a really interesting character when I was playing as Arthur. And now, especially in hindsight, knowing everything that I know about Sally and Arthur's relationship, I know Arthur is a piece of shit, so I feel even more like, man, I want to play Sally, fuck Arthur. I like that taking care of your kid and being a mom is a central thing that you always have to keep in mind. That just feels really nice. Also, I absolutely love the very, very end. I mean, aside from it just being satisfying and, and fun and really emotional, finally escaping Wellington Wells with our baby, finally safe, sort of. We still don't know what's actually out there, but nonetheless, very satisfying. But the thing I like about it the most is when Sally was talking to Gwen and said, we'll be the two musketeers. That felt like, I'm pretty sure Sally was directly referencing how Sally and Arthur used to be the two musketeers. Remember Arthur mentioned that quite a few times? I think they were mentioning that they used to be the two musketeers with Arthur, but fuck Arthur. They're not doing anything with him anymore. Arthur's a piece of shit who abandoned them and treats them like garbage for a really disgusting reason, given what was happening around the time that Sally apparently s slept with uh, Arthur's father. Remember when she was 16 and her entire family had just died? Yeah. So that is the end of the Sally storyline. I am going to try to play the Ollie storyline next. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I kind of suspect I won't, but we'll see. Hopefully it's not too long, or at least not intolerable. You know, the Sally one definitely was a lot shorter than the Arthur one. Hopefully Ollie's is even shorter. So I could always stop the playthrough if I really, really hate playing as Ollie. But we'll see. I'll give it a try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you with the Ollie playthrough.